Hi there Tech Savvy Seniors. In this video we are going to do a quick overview of the Amazon Music app. I'm going to tell you about some of the basic features and screens and menus that you can expect to see to hopefully um, allow you to better kind of navigate and understand uh, the Amazon Music application. Before we get into the app, just a really quick high-level overview of what it actually is. What is Amazon Music, um, this music streaming service? Um, so basically what it is, it's a cloud streaming, what they call a cloud music streaming service. So if you think about it, historically you went to the um, you know the record store to buy a record cassette CDs you know we've seen it all right uh, now the primary business model and honestly the easiest way to get access to music is through a lot of these streaming platforms um, there are obviously disadvantages right to not owning a CD versus you know basically paying a monthly subscription to get access to any music that you want to listen to so there's some pros and cons there to think about um, but overall, it is a pretty good, uh, pretty good service that I thoroughly enjoy. So I wanted to make a video uh, to help you better understand what the app looks like, what it has to offer, um, etc. Uh, also, you will know that, or one thing I would like to note is that there are different, um, there are different subscription levels. So you can get a free version. Uh, of Amazon Music, for example, that you can listen to songs. You don't have to pay a monthly um, subscription. But then as you step up, um, there are paid subscriptions. Uh, really quickly, um, some of the key differences, I've pulled up the list here and I'll link it in the description of the video so that you can see you know, what the, difference com the different comparisons are um, on Amazon and, you know, the different fees that you pay what you get back for that um, so you know free is obviously the the best option and what I would suggest is that you try it out with a free option and then you know see how you like it right and then perhaps if it's something you want to pay five ten fifteen dollars a month for I think 15 is kind of the 15 or 20 is the the best package so to speak um, so basically also, if you have Amazon Prime, you do get you know some level of service. Um, so the main differences are, um, you know, being able to listen to any song that you want to listen to. So if you think of a song from your childhood that you want to go back and listen to, and just search and find that song, typically on the free one you can do that. Um, but it limits how you create a playlist. You oftentimes have to li listen to advertisements. Um, so on and so forth. So it kind of diminishes your experience, so to speak. Um, but I would definitely recommend trying the free version first if you don't already have the subscription. And then if you like it, hey, you can you know try it on a month by month basis, right? I'll try it this month. If it's not worth $15 or $10 or whatever package I get, I'll cancel it. Uh, you know, it's 10 bucks down the drain, right? Oh, the other thing I did want to mention is that if you sign up for the app and log in, it is linked to your Amazon account. Um, so that is just something to consider. You know, if you're an Amazon Prime member or just an Amazon member, um, this will link up to that account. So you'll want to use your username and password for Amazon to log into this application. So here on the uh, screen, you will see the application Amazon Music. Uh, sometimes uh, these companies like Amazon will change the icons but currently it's a blue icon with the Amazon logo and music there uh, so we will tap that application to launch it all right and then the first thing you're gonna see is this my soundtrack here at the top and basically uh, as you can tell I've listened to some rap music recently uh, that is going to kind of show you, and it's it's interesting, it's going to show you and suggest to you different songs based off of songs you've listened to recently. So if you're trying to kind of ex expand and broaden your horizon, so to speak, definitely something to check out. Um, so if you'll notice here on the main screen, we've got um, our home screen. We've also got this little find tab and I'm here at the bottom uh, looking at the bottom of the application we've also got my music 
uh, and then we've got this Alexa tab here. So I'm going to go over each one of these real quick, very high level. So on this home screen, um, this is really where Amazon is, think of it, they are suggesting a lot of different things here. They want you to, you know, explore, broaden your horizons, um, see what different type of music you might like based on what music that they have seen you listen to, add to a playlist, etc., etc. So if you kind of scroll down here, um, you'll see again this my soundtrack. Uh, the next one is top stations. These are the top stations that all of the people that are using this app are listening to. Uh, and if you want to see more, again you'll you'll see here this little button. See more, pretty self-explanatory. If you tap that, it's basically going to give you uh, a full list of all of the different top stations. Um, so that's something you could kind of browse through and see if there's anything that piques your interest. Now to go back to the main screen, we are going to tap this arrow on the top left hand corner here. All right, and then if we scroll down, again, it's kind of suggesting stuff to us, more like deeper state. I'm guessing I listened to some type of meditative relaxation type music, maybe putting one of my children to sleep. That's a, a nice little station to um, try out. Uh, then you've got recently played. These are things that you have listened to, you know, pretty relatively recently. Uh, and one thing to note with mine is I have a what's called the Amazon uh, family subscription plan. So my wife listens to it. Both of my children um, have little echo devices in their room uh, and we create playlists for them that, you know, obviously has music appropriate for them. Uh, and then if you scroll down further in this list, um, you will again see suggestions, right? And one thing I really want to kind of point out here, uh, we have top playlist and we have stations. Again, these are suggestions. These aren't things that I have um, purposefully sought out and created a playlist on. Amazon's just saying, hey, you might like this, you might like this, you might like this. Um, I personally don't spend a lot of time on the home screen uh, because I know what I want to listen to. Uh, I like this app because I can find all of the different songs that I already know that I want to listen to and put those on a playlist. Uh, and I will create a video um, with much further detail on how to actually do that. This video is really just kind of describing the application uh, and the different features of the application. So again, this is kind of the main home screen. Uh, again, think of this as broadening your horizons and looking at potential new music or even music that you've forgotten that you like. And that's what I will say. Definitely go here and look around uh, and see if there's anything that piques your interest. I have oftentimes found music um, that I didn't even know I wanted to listen to. All right, and if we scroll down even further, uh, it just, again, keeps going. Same, same kind of theme there, so to speak. All right, so next I want to tap this little find icon. And to me, again, different people use the app different ways, uh, but to me, this is where, um, this is really the bread and butter of the app, so to speak, uh, between this find icon, let me cancel there, and my music. Those are the two that I, often find myself using the most. Um, so there are a couple of different ways to interact with this search menu here. At the, honestly, the easiest way at the very top is just to type something. So if you tap here at the top, search Amazon Music, and we can look for um, an artist, a song, um, you know, really anything an album um, it, just think of it as a kind of open search engine so uh, let's say I want to find uh, the Eagles an old classic rock band and you'll see it starts populating a bunch of different options here we got the greatest hits um, you know Hotel California uh, and if I were to actually just hit search here it's going to give me really all of the different results. And it groups them by top results. Then you're going to look 
and you'll see artists and it actually finds a few more um, stations albums uh, and this is a really good easy way to go kind of find what you're looking for all right so I'm going to get back out of that search menu the next thing I'm going to show you uh, in the find section is playlist so if you actually uh, excuse me stations playlist charts and new releases so I'll tap each one of these to kind of show you um, what you're looking for here so with stations if you tap that again this is more of kind of like the home screen um, it's it's suggesting things but you can look through the different stations and perhaps find things that you didn't know you wanted to listen to there's a meditation station here um, you know a top country if you just said hey I want to listen to you know what are all the top country songs today that's the station you would want to select and playlists are honestly very similar um, really to me from what I've found the key difference is that stations are more broad categories of genres time periods etc whereas playlists are more specific and curated categories of genres artists time periods uh, that sort of thing so they're very similar but you know some nuanced differences there and then again you would just kind of scroll through these um, and you could you know perhaps listen to one of those playlists and then you will also see charts right below playlist so what charts are are basically you know these are the rankings of songs that people are listening to on this app uh, and then you know you can filter that by different genres and subcategories so right now this is literally every you know every song that they have and you know what's popular right this watermelon sugar song is number one across every genre but if I wanted to narrow my search and say, you know, I want to know what the number one blues song is right now. Well, there we go. Eric Clapton, Wonderful Tonight. Um, so that's just a quick way. Let me go back here. That's a quick way that you can kind of browse through the charts. And then finally, you'll see new releases. Uh, and that one, again, is the newest songs and newest releases that they have. And you can also filter this by genres there so if I wanted to say again let's go back to blues uh, what are the new releases in blues there we go there's a couple of new albums there and new songs that if I wanted to kind of hear the new stuff um, that's being released with that category that's where I would click all right so moving on here across the bottom bar I'm going to tab over to my music you'll see that highlighted um, and there's a couple of different sections in my music you have recents these are things you've recently listened to pretty self-explanatory playlist this is where I literally spend 99% of my time within this tab uh, because again for me the value of this application is being able to find all of the songs that I want to listen to uh, and group those in a playlist um, one such example is when I go work out um, so you see this workout playlist here there's 21 songs it goes for an hour and 12 minutes and those are songs that I went out and specifically searched for that have a certain tempo that motivate me uh, and they're all the things that I want to listen to when I work out um, because if you're like me you need every bit of motivation that you can get uh, to get through that workout um, so that's really to me where the value of this application shines um, you can also and I'll just briefly touch on these you can see the different artists um, that you have saved to playlist I don't know that I've ever used this function um, you can see the different albums uh, that you have saved to your uh, playlist uh, you can see the different songs as well but again playlist itself um, that's where all the magic happens um, and I will make another video that goes into a lot of uh, detail around how to actually create uh, and manage these playlists because um, that is really where uh, the value in this app lies so moving on here to the last tab the Alexa I will make another video that's a deep dive on you know how to use this and how it functions one thing I would also want to touch on here if you're the type of person that doesn't want to listen to explicit lyrics you know you want to listen to songs that are clean and have no cuss words or you have children that sort of thing um, what I would suggest 
If you look up here to the top right hand corner, you will see a menu button with three dots. We're going to tap that uh, and you will see a couple of different options here. So we're going to hit settings here, our little cog, and we can actually tell it to block explicit songs here at the top. So I'm going to tap that and you'll see, hey, we need to block that out. Uh, I'm not going to do that here, but if I wanted to, I would just accept that and hit block. So really the key takeaways uh, here are the playlist. Again, I know I've said it three times. 3,000 times in this video. Um, the playlist are the bread and butter um, of, of this app. Uh, that's where I really find myself using it the most, uh, both my children, my wife, any, all of us who use this app, you know, we create a playlist with the songs that we wanna listen to uh, for a specific time, like for dinner, um, you know, if we just wanna relax. Uh, my wife has her different playlists when she's doing, uh, you know, various activities. Uh, that sort of thing. So that's the one thing I would say uh, has the most value creating those playlists. Um, and then, you know, the other key takeaway here is that, you know, these cloud music services like Amazon, they really do offer a lot of bang for your buck. So it's really nice being able to listen to any song, period. You know, you, you want to listen to a song, you go search for it. And Amazon Music, unless there's some odd, um, licensing issue there where they're kind of fighting with the artist they typically have most everything that i have wanted to go find uh, and listen to now one thing to note again with um you know this kind of as we move into what's called cloud music streaming services uh, is there is a lot of value to be found in the free version so don't you know immediately think oh i need to go pay and upgrade to the to the to the premium version unless you do find that there are features you truly are missing out on uh, i would highly suggest at least give just the free version a try uh, and see how you like it um, and how to navigate around it all right tech savvy seniors thank you um, for viewing this video and if you liked it um, please do press the like button. Uh, it will help push this content out to more of your peers uh, because we want to get this information out to uh, really as many as, pe as many people as possible. Uh, we want uh, to help enable seniors through this kind of um, highly digitized world. I know as someone who is a tech savvy person, it's a little bit overwhelming for me at times. So I can only imagine, you know, if I were 40 years my senior, or 30 years my senior, you know, trying to navigate this new digital landscape. So that's really the whole purpose of the channel. Uh, and we really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for new videos, things you're struggling with, um, definitely comment below. Check us out on Facebook, The Tech Savvy Senior, and check us out online, uh, thetechsavvysenior.com. All right, y'all have a great day now. Thank you.